Okay, it's time for the run back. And it's honestly, I have not gotten my win on Krieg. I got my win on Maya this week. It's time to get that Krieg. Get that Krieg victory, my most played character. How is it possible that my most played character is the one that I can't get to the win? You know, it might be time for me to admit something that I should have admitted a long time ago. So that I, oh, Whiskey Tango Fox try never again. Um, immunity to burn damage, that's hilarious. That when I did play Borderlands 2 back in the day, I did try to get my Krieg through the OP levels, but my melee Krieg build just wasn't strong enough. I I did Rough Rider, and I just kept hitting myself because of Sounds of the Voices. <laughs> and it's hard to kill really, really tanky enemies when you keep... Like, Sounds of the Voices Krieg actually kind of falls off, in my opinion. But, like, there's no way to scale him without it. So, at least for that melee build, it's just kind of tricky. But at the same time, he is like ridiculously OP for the entire game of before then, like in like the mid game. So it's like, like, do I, do I, am I really upset about it? Not really. Cause I had a super, a lot of fun getting there, but I wasn't able to actually push through the, the end game of the game with him, which is kind of embarrassing, but I, as a kid, like, you're just bad at games. Oh, I don't have a uh, aim assist on anymore, so I don't have to... I don't have to flick to the left after aiming in. I can just aim. There we go. Could be a buff for my Krieg. Maybe this could be the time where I go the explosive, um... Melee build that I'm wanting to go. Whether you just... It's all buzz axe throws. This guy's inside this box, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Vlad off barrel torque pistol. That could be nice. Nice and fun and good and great. All right, let's grab this Borderlands symbol. What did you give me? Max health and shield capacity. Let's do that. Let's do max health. Doom, 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 doom. I like this zone. This is a good zone. Let's let's see. Class mods are important on Krieg. We gotta make sure we get a good one. Fire rate after kill seems kind of insane. Fire rate after kill? We just get kill skill fire rate? I've never actually used this before. What can I use to clear this? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. Oh, the black hole pulls them in and then destroys them. That's insane. That's actually a really nice shield. I just need to figure out what weapons I'm using because I'm, I'm scrolling through a bajillion times. I got no organization going on. I just use this 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 uh, torque shotgun. You always use shotguns. Shut up. <laughs> this plague rat's gonna put me down though. If you put me down, I'll become more powerful more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Boom! See ya. It's gotta recharge though. Run. Okay, we're gonna go Bugs Ash Rampage. Early game in Krieg without your CD or chucking is, is not the easiest thing to do in the world. Boom, 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 boom. Rise close of Cloud ain't gonna happen. Homing Tesla ain't gonna happen. Even though I probably should. Yeah, let's take Homing Tesla. I mean, we, we can reduce our grenade fuse time on Krieg. Just, just a really random th thing for Krieg to be good at. But yeah, reducing grenade fuse time after getting a gun damage kill. And then when I get kills with grenades, I get... Can we... Krieg, you're so tall, bro. Gosh. Krieg not only is taller than the other models, but he also... Uh, is heavier than the other models so that when enemies melee you don't get knocked back as much They implemented it into the game to, to save Krieg from himself I got like a oh, that's a bandit. Yes, that's that's my absolute favorite to go go to Maybe we just use maybe we just rock Tesla's Well, this could be wait hold on here a oh, Weapon swap speed that's sick. Okay, so maybe we need to go blood overdrive. So, and our melees will be strong too. We'll have strong melees. 
We just need a, a solid weapon to go to for deeps. Maybe the bushwhack is that weapon. Slag and swaps bushwhack. Would Krieg be a hooper, yay or nay? Yeah, Krieg would, Krieg would be a hooper. But honestly, he's got real... I think he's got linebacker vibes. Is the only thing. Longbow slag transfusion as well. Kind of goes insane with 3.6 second. But... We're going we're gonna to try this Tesla out. For damage purposes. I think I think Krieg would be a linebacker. SMG damage? No thanks. Okay, let's just go for some buzz dash rampage because I hit my I always hit my action skill just instinctually. Oh yeah, because there's too many characters that just like you start the fight by playing. Oh, I was just playing Gage, right? So, by the way, I gotta rebind my. After playing Gage, I had my... Oh, this could be the end of the run. Let's toss some grenades out. And just slag. Oh, and the slag did not do its job. But that Tesla plus my Bandit SMG should do the trick. Now we have increased swap speed. There we go. Toss more of these grenades out. Now I've got, I've got reduced grenade fuse time. Let's follow this grenade around. We got this, come on. I'm out of grenades entirely. That's rough. Luckily, even though I'm in the middle of everything, Freak's mag size increases are giving this bushwhack an absolute buff to the heavens. Okay, so now we can get the one that a grenades buff up our guns. There we go. Corrosive damage dot stay forever. Actually forever. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, longbow bonus package. The bonus package is insanely strong. And honestly, if we can get his grenade fuse time, here's how it blows up. It's longbow. And it makes a whole bunch of other grenades. And make that makes a whole bunch of other grenades. Traditional Borderlands style grenade. But it does a, a chunk of damage. It with Krieg, I can scale my. I can scale my grenade damage. But I have to get a melee kill to scale to scale it though, which is the hardest part. Like, how can you get a melee kill? Gotta find a way. Bandit reload speed and fire rate. Okay, th this is the run. This is the run. I think when you take this, I'm gonna try something here. So let's, let's throw axes as fast as we can. Get a couple down. Okay, hit tab. And then swap to this bandit reload, or bandit fire rate and reload to see if it's throwing faster. Man, I cannot tell. I think it is a little bit faster. Could be in my head. Could be in my head. Either way, I'm not sure if I want to go the explosive uh, throw build right now. I got a bonus package. I kind of want to lean into that instead. Longbow bonus package that increases our gun damage. I think that if we... I think we, we want to drop the shotguns, though. We need something that can do damage from afar. Honestly, let's just let's just rock this this bandit uh, SMG. The uh, biggest problem is going to be not dying to our own grenades. But I have faith in our abilities, and then once we get a crunch class mod, we will be good to go. Don't run towards the don't run towards the grenade site, bro. Think of it as huge aerial strikes. <laughs> Don't want to be anywhere near that. All right, what do we get? Max health and shotgun max ammo. Let's we take both for now. Let's do it. 
Again, the Bandit SMGs, because of their huge mag size, are my absolute favorite weapons for applying the slag debuff. Get that melee hit here. Oh yeah, see you later. We have the makings of a pretty decent explosive damage build here. I just need to get a, a crunch class mod. If I can get myself a crunch class mod, which will increase my explosive damage, then we'll be off to the races here. Bust this down. That will most likely hit him, but I just gotta make sure I get my distance as well. Only one more kill required. There we go. We don't have to do a bajillion damage with our primary weapon. We can we can do lots of damage with our grenades as well. There's no rule against doing damage with the grenades. Open sesame. Let's see. Grenade capacity, kill skill duration. No crunch class mod. That's okay. This is a good this is a good class mod. Biggest downside of this one right now is that it this is a pretty funny skill. This is these are all the three skills that form the kill skill triangle in Krieg's in Krieg's Bloodlust tree. Pretty interesting. Either way, um I want to be able to be able to melee as well. If I want to. So how do I when do my melee strikes get strong? My melee strikes get strong after getting a bullet kill. My bullets will getting will be getting strong after getting a grenade kill. So we do have some decent synergies going. You tossing out grenades, I got increased grenade capacity. Toss this down right there. This could be the end of the run for me. A little bit a little bit close for comfort on that grenade, but we could it out perfectly. Also granted this guy. With my bloodbat skill, and especially because I got more points into it now, I'm going to be picking up um more. I'm just gonna run for my life. Mm -mm -mm. I threw two grenades right there. Oh, this could be the end. This is the end. He slagged. This we live, we live. Oh, we live, brother. And we get most of our grenades back. Let's go. All right, you gotta go. Get a bonus packaged. That guy's all up top. I don't really care about him. Maybe we can longbow this guy. I, sh I might actually do something good to him. Yeah, he's gone. I'm gonna keep my black hole shield for now. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, a crunch class mod would go even harder. Coach gun. I, I need to be keeping my distance right now. From the enemies. But don't really see the coach gun, you know, being that great for me. Okay, throw that. Toss the grenade a little bit farther away than I normally would. Okay, that's a lot of stacks of bloodlust right there. Us grenades and slag. Once that happens, this crouch. Oh, this is an easy grenade toss. I'm very low. Toss grenades. Us grenades. Okay, I need to pick up some. Uh, there's two grenades over here I can pick up. More nades. More nades. Find some cover. No nades remaining. That's okay. He does go down. We got deeps. Is that is that Droog? Oh no! Mad Mike makes his appearance out of nowhere, and we are not prepared for this. Run! He's got to make it hard for him to hit us. Dude, he's so broken. Most broken boss in the game. Most broken boss in the game. Most broken boss in the game. Come on. 
No. We run it back. Man, I'm, I remember being a kid and that boss killing me, my brother, over and over and over and over again. Run that back. Just because he, he has extremely high damage missiles that don't seem to ever miss. And they track you decently well, as we just saw. All right, sorry, full damage. Okay, we might, we might as well just go TDR reloads to start here. We got a nice TDR SMG that can help us out with that. And a TDR pistol, yeah. Now all we need is a corrosive damage grenade, and we are going to the moon. Fire damage weapon is okay for stacking dots. But I would really like some sort of corrosive damage, something, something. Bandit launcher on the small map. We take. Make sure we're using our best launcher, yeah. So TDR SMG up top, TDR pistol down below, and then one ex one something for stacking in the third slot. I think this will be good. Are these guys resist explosives or something? Or fire? One of the, something like that. Or I could just go melee damage. And that's a decent class mod for melee damage. It's just as easy. Might as well. We're trying to push this early game. Okay. Briggs early game melee damage is redonk redonk. Out of this world high. And we can even do we don't we don't have to make sure we we unbind to fix our keybinds. Reload weapon R please, thank you. Gauge isn't here anymore. We can play normal. TDR reloads are strong even without blood filled guns. They're just really strong in general. Use them on any character. To to do massive deeps. They nerfed them in in arms race. Uh, for good reason. It's just funny how, like... I feel like... I don't know. Me, personally, I never really use TDRs, like, in a main game playthrough. It's just funny how, like, they had... The only reason they nerfed them was because everyone was just spamming them in arms race. But, honestly, like... I don't think they should have nerfed it. Like, if that was your... I get that it's kind of a broken strategy, but if that's your tech, like, that's your tech. I don't think that's, like, that game-breaking of a tech. Arms Race was, like, pretty hard as it was. Alright. Let's see. Rock rifle, TMP. Nothing crazy here that I that I would necessarily consider picking up. This rock torpedo could be interesting. Let's just put it in my let's put it in a damage slot. And a Snyder too. It's not really going to matter if I'm gonna be going melee damage, but let's just keep pushing. Okay, we got robots. This is gonna be a lot harder. Oh, never mind. This one's not so so bad. We got Krieg to take out these power loaders, and then taking out the EXP loaders is easy. After that, it's gonna be that last phase that we're gonna be a little bit afraid of. Back up. These are freebies. I kind of want to use these barrels later on. So I don't want them to explode. I'm going to try to keep them alive. That slag barrel especially. They come this way. Don't get hit. We're playing this pretty well. Nothing corrosive here. Alright. Oh shoot, there's a hot loader on me as well right now. Toss. Good chunks. Oh, great chunks. Great chunks. All right, stun the hot loader. Go for the junk loader. Uh-oh. He's on me. 
This is my nemesis. This is your nemesis's Kree. There we go. Hit that power loader. Don't spin, don't spin, don't spin. No spinning, no winning, brother. Hide. He, you can't hit me? Oh, let's go. Go hard on Kree. High risk, high reward. Now I get a free end of stage. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Oh, sometimes that high risk, high reward play style can get you killed. <laughs> Obviously. So, gotta be careful. But at the same time, being careful gets you killed. <laughs> homing slide transfusion. Thing is, the homing. Okay, I used to think homing slag was like the best way to go. But after playing with it a lot, I feel like it's just longbow slag is the way. Because homing takes forever to get there, the slow moving projectiles. I always forget that it's there. Explosive damage? Sheesh. Say less. All right. I feel like explosive damage just takes, it takes long to get there. I'm sorry. I'm not, not explosive damage. The homing grenades take long to get there. And but and then but then they have a 2.5 second fuse time, which the enemies will be gone by then. Almost every enemy in this game is moving at least a little bit. And then it blows up, and then the transfusions go out. I don't know. To me, it just doesn't seem that useful. I mean, but if I can get a 0, 0.0 second longbow, I can slap that thing on the ground near an enemy target, regardless of where I am. And then. The transfusions will go out right away and then then get back to me. And even then the healing is slow. We just slag. We can just we can melee while in this form. We don't necessarily need to use our buzz action rampage right away. Holy moly. Whoa. This she just went one million miles an hour. Get right up on this guy. Thank you. Let this guy. Oh, actually, I was thinking about maybe letting that guy hit me a little bit. That's fine. I played a game of cards, and you guys can let me know if you guys think this is. If let me know if I if I'm wrong here. Last night, look. So yesterday, Mother's Day. Okay, me and my fiance. The day before, we did a we did a decent amount of cooking. She did a lot of cooking, a lot of baking. But we both did a decent amount of, of planning, and uh, I also did my fair share of cooking as well. Um, we did two different Mother's Days, Saturday and Sunday. And at the end of yesterday, we played a card game. And we're playing a card game, and basically how it works, it's, it's a version of Rummy where the first person that goes out ends the round, and you have to count up the amount of cards in your hand. And aces are worth 15, jokers are worth like 20 something, uh, all face cards are worth 10, and then everything else is worth face value. So twos are worth two, threes are worth three. So you really want to have twos and threes in your hand if, if you if someone goes up before you. Uh but at the end of the last second to last round, I was winning the game. Okay. And the only person that was really within striking distance of me was 21 points behind. So I calced and I've and I've done this math before. How about the quad by the way? I calced that is it is it bladed though? Oh, it's going to ruin my melee damage. That I can get my final hand to be worth usually around any usually around mid 40s in points. Uh if I if I don't actually try to win the round of rummy. Like in, in in that rummy game you have to get to a, cer a certain hand it's like you have to, it's like you have to get one, two sets and three runs which is like a straight and a set is like three nines so like in the final round you have to get three runs so that's going to be three straights of four numbers or more all the same suit okay it's a tough thing to get and you get the discard um one card per turn and exchange it so in the last round I I don't go for three runs. Instead, I just get rid of all my high cards and take and keep low cards. 
and I get I get comments from around the table like that it's like oh that's that's cheap he doesn't play the game blah 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 and it really they it's like how do they how can they tell because I'm not saying it how can they tell well a big tell is if you discard a joker <laughs> uh I did not discard a joker this time around but jokers can be used to be any card so they're really 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 powerful but I didn't discard a Joker this time around. But they sniffed it out. They noticed that, like, oh, wow, someone someone discarded the two, and he immediately picked it up and threw a jack. Like, yeah. But I won the game, and I, I, I played a good game up until that point to award myself the availability of that strategy. They're upset because... They were way behind, and the only way for them for them to win, if they're if they're one of those people that was really, it was only my fiance was in striking distance of me. She was twenty one points behind, and if if I can only get to an average of forty five points, um, if I discard efficiently, around there, then if if my fiance wins, that means that she gets she takes zero points around and she wins the game. But we're playing with six people. Only one person is in striking distance of me. That means I have a one. I have an 80% chance to win the game. The only person that can't win that last round is my fiance. No one else was even close. No one else was even with 100 points in my score. So if I run, if I do that strategy, I've got an 80% chance to win. And unfortunately for the people that aren't in striking distance, that gives them a 0% chance to win because they will, I will never have enough cards in my hand for them to win the game. It's a numbers game. 80% chance of victory. You're not taking that. And it's because I was in first place that it worked. So I use, when do I implement the strategy? I implement the strategy when the majority of players in the game are not within striking distance of me in first place. If I will, I will do it if I'm in second or third or something like that, as long, as long as the majority of players, as long as me taking that average of like 40 something points, um, will put me ahead of the majority of players if they take usually an average of 75 to 150 points in the last round. Some people take, some people refuse to count and take a thousand. But if I play that way, it gives them 0% chance to win. Uh, the people that aren't in striking distance. And I get how that feels bad. I do. But at the same time, I, I played a good game up until that point to put myself in position to win. Now, that being said, if everybody else did the same thing, the game would be endless, right? The game would be endless. Um... Technically, it would be in a stalemate. However, if everyone did the same thing, I would begin adapting my strategy. Like, oh, everyone's gonna do it? If, if, if everyone's gonna do it, then I will adapt my strategy, and I will, um... Oh, look, that was pretty... That was interesting. Sound glitch right there. Then I will adapt my strategy. I don't think it's a cheap strategy, and in fact, one of the people calling out calling me out was my brother who had implemented that strategy two rounds earlier. And I called him out for that. It's like, you did it two rounds earlier, and he laughed and laughed, because, you know, he's trying to make a joke. He thinks he's so funny. <laughs> he is a funny guy. Okay, so. We, we got Strip the Flesh and Blood Trance, but we're going we're gonna to stick with what we've got. Now, I am going to take Silence of the Voices. It is going to be our, our way to get through this next round. And then it's released the beast after that. I'm sorry if if uh, melee damage Krieg isn't your thing, but it is a fun playstyle, and it's it's a good way to get through some of these early rounds. Arid Nexus Badlands. Okay, who are we gonna fight then? Saturn. We could be in a, a an extra amount of trouble here. I didn't pick up anything explosive. I'm sorry, anything. I didn't pick up anything corrosive at all. And I... Oh, I did. Right here. Corrosive damage weapon. Perfect. And I wonder if I can slag him. 
Let's try to slag him up with the Snyder. 69.9% chance. Hive. Oh my gosh, we did get... Oh my gosh. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Okay, so here's the strat. Watch this. Sh Let me cook. All right, respec. Go to... Bloodfield Guns. Okay, next is going to be... We just need to stay alive. Other than that, just stay alive. That's all we need is Bloodfield Guns. Let's do... How can I stay alive? Blood Overdrive is fine. Blood Bath is fine. Do I have transfusions that can keep me alive? That'd be nice. Let's see. <sighs> Dang it. That's fine. Let's go here. And the first thing we need to do is get to a spot that we can cheese him. These missiles might hurt me a lot if they if they start connecting. Ow, ow, ooh, ooh, ooh. Everything is fine. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Get to a cheese location. Make sure we got some transfusions just in case. Or s no transfusions, that's okay. S and start start stacking up, start stacking up stacks of bloodlust. Once we get to 100 stacks, our launcher will have a big magazine. It's a TDR corrosive E-Tech launcher. So when I I'm going to take one shot with that launcher, and then I'm going to reload. That reload will then toss that launcher and hopefully deal a, like probably 10.5 billion damage to this guy. So I'm at 100 stacks. They're, they are dropping off. We're going to toss, get it, get some slag going. Switch to my TDR weapon. One shot and reload. Please do a million damage. And it missed. Okay, one shot and reload. Boom. Let's get, dude, let me cook. One shot. Absolutely one shot. Okay. Breathe. Dude, that felt good. Holy. That was worth it. Two, a couple good touches. A Veritas. I wonder how, I wonder how good that weapon is. That looks like, that looks like the Jacobs, that looks like matching grip bushwhack with a vertical foregrip. That looks like the T-Door foregrip though, not the one that everyone likes. No one can, no one survives that trash right there. That was insane. That was ridiculous. And we got to land too, that's the best part. Give me a TDR launcher, brother. That's your job right now. Okay, Hyperion Plasma Caster. Hide of Terramorphous, I think, is going to be what is what we need for a melee damage. Or, I'm sorry, a fire damage uh, melee build. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe a couple more pulls of the box, though. Just to, you know, just to... Just to see. Okay, we definitely take a slaga. Definitely take a slaga. It's basically like my bandit weapon, but better. Here we go. One more pull or launch? No, we need launcher. We need launcher stuff. Oh, we can't quite max it out. That's okay, though. Let's go. Let's own it. Pyro P, are you serious? Um... I think a, I think a respec is in order here. Let's go into melee damage. Is it on? Yeah, it is on right now. Oh, I did that. I did that kill without ex without any extra skills in these point in the with the melee damage class mod. That's crazy. Okay. I'm gonna have released the beast, so I'll, I don't think I need. the rampage anymore i would like to go this fire side but i don't have the points for it right now in fact i'm probably better off just going all points in these skills we'll go light the fuse for fun 
redeem the soul for fun. And we'll just always spawn in lads. I think, I think this will work. And we'll just have a slagga in case. But realistically, never going to end up using it. We can slagga him from time to time, actually. And what's our weapon of choice? Let's hit him up with this quad. And he's gonna... Well, I can get him to... Yeah, I can get him to... Put me down into this pretty quickly. Yeah, his shield's gone. No, 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 no need to rush this fight at all. Make sure, just make sure I got lads to, to, to hit. Ow, don't hit yourself. You're doing good. I probably should have taken time to slag him right there in between. Ow, that's a hit myself for sure. Let's run over to this sewer rat. Oh, I got him anyway. I got him first row. That's crazy. Ow, dude, you need to stop. Seriously, stop hitting yourself. Dude, it's actually killing first row. That's crazy. Let's go. Let's get some deep stuff while we can while we're trying to do that attack. Okay, get a kill on the outside. Thank you. Outside kill, outside kill. Thank you. We're going to spawn in some lads here soon, probably. Not bad. Oh, melee Creed goes insane. I think I'm okay on my timer. Uh, it's going down quick. I gotta be careful now. Get that slag going. Keep it up. If you if you put me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Go ahead. Let him get one punch in. He's slagged. He should die here. Krieg, are you serious, brother? How did you not kill him there? Wow, light the fuse is kind of insane. Don't hit yourself. There's nobody around. Oh, there is one. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, decent power pre fight, to be honest with you. Slayer of Terror Morphous class mod. Not taking that. Okay, an emperor. An emperor could be interesting. Burn damage and ignite chance is actually not so bad. I want to go like a fire. Oh, please don't make me reach that. Yes. I mean, it sounds. <laughs> I'm. I'm do. I'm super excited for a Florentine that I'm probably never gonna use. I'm mean, meteor shower. Throwing that right here might actually might get me killed, but. Okay. I'm looking at that, I was looking at the the parts of that thing. Decent run though. Decent run so far. Oh, I gotta get my reward first? Sure. Seraphim or a Seeker? Let's go Seraph... I don't like the Seeker, but that's a times two. No, it's not. It consumes two ammo, but I'm not sure if it's an actual times two. Okay, this one... I think this is a... Descent. I don't have to do anything too crazy. Very nice. I, I do have a Florentine now, but realistically, uh, I don't think it's better at slagging than the Slaga. The Slaga is like the slagging weapon. And I'm mostly in in Buzzax Rampage anyway, so it doesn't necessarily really matter. I'm here. Do your thing. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. All right. So I, I got to one shot Saturn, but the only problem with this launcher, if I if I do want to do javelin style builds, is the fact that it's it's corrosive. So it's only going to work against those corrosive enemies. And corrosion in 
rogue lands is not so great. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. There's just not that many bosses that it's good against. It's good against Hyperius minions, but... Um... That's about it. As far as the raid bosses. Everyone else kind of meh. Oh my gosh. I'm immediately just getting one shot by Tor Destroyer. Oh, I'm going to get you. Light the fuse. I haven't used light the fuse in forever. Wait, where's my... Oh, I activated my thing too early. That's not good. I'll be fine here. This is so fun. I love doing this. I forgot how much fun this was. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I could be in trouble now, though. No, it seemed to be okay. Can I get crits? Thank you. And now I can fix my Buzzax Rampage. Hey. See ya. 5 out of 10, already done. We're chilling. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, let's kill this bad. Oh my goodness, these guys do so much damage. That's the thing. See ya. I put all, I put the slag, I put the roid damage, I put everything into that one. I'm one hit from death. And I'm nowhere near any enemies. <laughs> Oh, light the fuse. Light the fuse, please. Light the fuse. Do your thing. Do your thing. Oh, I'm so fine. I'm so back. Oh, I'm so back. Let's go. These guys do a lot of damage to me. Oh, it's a Torque Bomber. Okay. I'm not used to those enemies. Alright, let's slap some points into... I want more explosive damage. And I wonder if anyone knows in the comments section. Does. Light the fuse scale with grenade damage. This could be something I should look up right now. Okay, so it doesn't look like. It doesn't look like Light the Fuse scales with the grenade damage, but it does scale with explosive damage. So, that's something for us to keep in mind. So, going stuff like this, increasing our grenade damage, won't actually make it any stronger. But, let's go, let's go down this tree regardless. That way I can get uh, my buzz axis to explode. To me, that's a, that's a big part of Krieg builds. Get those buzz axis to explode, and the rest will fall into place. While we're waiting for our enemies to, you know, do our damage to us, we can just, you know, hit them up with some slag. And honestly, we might not even need to do anything. Okay, now we get low. We hit Balzac's Rampage. This is when we are doing a monstrous damage. I kind of want to try to blend the... I like... I, I've only done it once before, but I want to try it again. I want to try to blend the right and middle skill trees. I think that could be fun. Also, I mean, a test of the grenade is better than what I'm using now. I think the meteor shower will end up hitting me. But bye, meteor shower. I'm sorry, you're gone. Let's see. Fire rate after kill is an interesting skill. For sure. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Oh, wait. Let's back up a little bit. That's fine. We activated our buzzer page early. Not that big of a deal. See ya. See ya. Hey, we're back here. Very nice. That looks like a shiny weapon. Alright, what you got for me? We take that for sure. Let's go ahead and start dropping some stuff. The Florentine in here. Yeah, I think we're going to be able to start from the bottom and just start dropping stuff. 
Portis never never happening in never in a million years. I'm never gonna need this assault rifle damage relic either. Launcher max ammo though could come in handy. Orphan maker is good too. I don't I I don't want to not put respect on the orphan maker's name. Probably should be keeping some of the some of these TDRs. But is what it is. All right, let's pick up our mouthwash relic and blood well, terramorphous. While good, I don't know if it's that worth it for us. It could be at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it could be. I do have an explosive damage relic on. It could be a big reason why I'm. Why my light diffuse is doing extra damage. The rest yards, let's go. Alright, Slag at a start. If it kills them, it kills them. I have no power over that. Another Slayer Terramorphous. That's tough. It's also going to stack up my Bloodlust. Um, Slag in these laddies. So, we're doing okay. Yeah, what what do you got, dude? Hmm, looks like you got absolutely nothing. <laughs> Alright, blazing spider rain, you gotta go. They all these guys, It's funny how like how much like these guys think that or they they like sound so tough and they look so tough and they're like literally doing nothing to me. Later. I don't want either of these because I don't want to fill my inventory up with trash. <laughs> A killing tool. Put it in very nice, very nice. Let's see. Sheriff's bad pistol. Okay, I know this one. I know that this relic increases my... F my fire rate with my, with my axe throws. And now that I'm going to be doing explosive damage axe throws, it's actually going to come in handy. That could be... Pretty decent. That could be pretty decent. If we put- if we let somebody put us down, like an enemy put us down, in a boss fight and then get back up and then go to Buzz Axe Rampage and start wailing on somebody. The problem is getting up after getting you're gonna have to have a somebody, you know, that you can actually kill around. Cause I have like the fuse on. Hmm. It's a tough one, tough call. Now, what I could do is respect, take off silence the voices, and go with the crunch class mod. I think that might have some something to it, actually. Oh, I dropped the crunch class mod. Dang. Bad player. Oh, there's one right here. It's like, but it does not strip the flesh. It does not strip the flesh. It's pretty good, though. I can't get the blood trance either way. F Strip the flesh is the one I want the most. That's the one that this gives me straight up explosive damage. So straight up candle, candle racks, crag. Let's do it. Oh, a loot enemy. Let's go. Come on, drop me something dece, brother. Something dece. Stop hitting yourself. All right. Just make sure we're paying attention. What you dropped me? The cradle. Funny joke. Oh. Witch doctors? After, after what these guys, these witch doctors have put me through in the past, it's going to be good to get some revenge. Reload me. Shoot some eggs too. Doom. 
ba -ba -dum -ba -ba -dum. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Not taking it, though. We got our gear for now. Later. Now, of course, fire pivot is always on the table. Can't help myself. Has to happen. What's up? I'm trying to deal damage to this guy. Let's see if I can actually do it. This might be the end of the run. Yeah, I can. I was going to say, like, there's no way that guy withstands the power of my creek. All right. Open this up. This bad boy. This bad Larry. Boom, 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 boom. Blood Tail is honestly a pretty easy enemy. I've n I don't think I've ever died to this guy. He's over there somewhere, but I'm gonna kill this last egg. I'm gonna say I'm, I'm gonna say I never died to this guy, and then this is gonna be the one time I do. Gotta be careful. There we go. Now that he's now that he starts hitting me, he's gonna start taking fire damage. Don't, dude, stop. Just stop. A triketra? No thanks. Hopefully we get something D's from here. Crunch class mod? Nope. Was really hoping. Plus five strip the flesh. And then, or plus six strip the flesh is the one I'm really looking for. Transfusions are good. Do a lobbed. I think lobbed over homing. Okay. Having the I think the height of Terramorphos is really gonna buff us up. I think it's gonna make things a lot a lot easier. Um. Let's do. Let's increase the duration of of Buzzax Rampage. I usually don't do it, but this time I'll make it a special exception. Snowman, snow lad. Okay, let's go. Me against you, brother. This is our time. Again, I've never gotten Krieg past the final bosses, so... Maybe this is the run. I'm trying to I'm, I've been trying to hit the box as much as possible because it's it's the gear that determines whether or not I think it will be successful. Come on, homie. I'm doing actually doing zero damage to this guy, but let's let's just keep my magazine completely empty. Let him hit me up for a little bit. Hit me up. There we go. I do I do more damage when Oh, don't hit yourself, brother. Twice in a row, not cool. Okay, we got we got this little snowman to spawn now. We can play more aggressive. Where are you going? He should fall off the edge here. Just saying. It's gonna be a pretty quick uh, tender snowflake kill, I think. Right back, right back to the well here. Not bad. Only one, only one uh, self hit in the last while. Okay, I, I, I jinxed it. Imagine if that guy put me down. That would have been the worst case scenario. Doom, 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 doom. Pretty quick snowman kill, honestly. Anything good here, brother? Come on. Iridium is good. Thank you. Doesn't look like it. This is where we might we might be able to pick something good up. Twister is fun. Not what I want, though. I've gone the Captain Blade's Manly Man Shield before, and I I felt like it felt like it wasn't that great, for, at least for me. We take the Order Shield in case we get a law later, but other than that. Double penetrating on Captain Herald. Best weapon in the game. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot. It's a pivot angle. Alright, we go crunch class mod. I know that we don't have the right 
uh, points in the shift of flesh and, and whatnot, but it's definitely a pivot angle. Let's go, yeah. But Twitch as well, I want to be able to uh, slag and swap with my slagger. Next, we will be doing more. There we go. That's looking nice. Now, do we need anything else in this tree? Let's do Thrill of the Kill for healing. Redeem the Soul is going to be good too. Salt the Wound is melee damage. I don't think that's going to be necessarily relevant for us. I don't think any of these any of these skills actually help us, but we can might as well make us better with shotguns in case we run out of pistol ammo. Nice. So so we have slag and swaps now, with double penetrating unkept herald, which will help us do splash damage. We have a twister as well, um, if we need to be doing twister shenanigans against bosses that might ex might resist explosive damage. That would be someone like Kramorax. So we got a twister for Kramorax, and extra shotgun damage would salt the wound if I need. But Devil Penetrating Upkept Herald is, is a really nice weapon pull, and we actually are going to uh, max out pistol, max out um, shotgun, max out grenade, max out launcher. I think that's it for now. Well, we might as well keep going. I don't necessarily think I need anything more. Um, to stay alive here. We do have a transfusion. We're going to keep that on so we can heal up. But we're going to be using Release the Beast. Oh, gosh. This is going to be a tough fight. But we're going to be using Release the Beast um, to heal back up. Okay, good damage. Good damage. Good damage. But we have to be, we have to be really careful during this fight. Not to, not to get hit by these missiles. Okay, so these guys, they they always shoot missiles if their if their shield isn't up. So just make sure that we keep their sh keep their shields down as much as possible or keep the shields up as much as possible. Decent. We need a re we need some heals. You're not going to get any kill skills in this fight at all. So we gotta be really smart about how we do this. Don't get hit by those attacks. Those missile strikes are the only thing that's gonna really be a threat to us. And they'll shoot them every time, so just keep running to the side. That should have been enough. Yeah, it was. Missile strike coming in. Get a little bit of distance. Aim, fire, three bursts, four bursts is going to do it. We can reload while we're running to the side. Oh, someone else is firing missiles too. You, all the way over there. Hope that he no longer is. Having two of these guys fire missiles at the same time is a lot harder, but something that we can get through. So I think how this works, I, I'm thinking I'm finally starting to understand how this actually functions, is that each of these guys has a cooldown. Maybe. And if you get all their cooldowns down at the same time, that's when Hyperius becomes targetable. That could be it. So that, that would explain why a couple of these guys are getting um, unshielded at the, around the same time. Well, that guy's, un that guy's unshielded, so is he. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not sprinting, that's a big mistake. Big mistake there. But luckily, I don't get completely punished for it. I need these transfusions to come in clutch here. Okay. We can get our first kill. Nice. Very good. Second kill now. Very good. I'm one hit from death. Thank you, transfusions. I have to make use of this final kill, for sure. Am 
Come on. Come targetable. Don't get hit by the missiles. Just keep running to the side. Good juke. Good juke. Save my that's a save my life juke right there. No. How is that possible? Come on. We got this damage. We got the damage. Aim for his head. Come on. I'm out of blammo. No. Fire. Reload. Fire. Reload. Yes! Oh my gosh, the save of the century. Oh. The save of the century. Let's go. That was incredible. Absolutely incredible. I gotta get a good reward for that, right? Oh, corrosive interfacer. Corrosive interfacer. Don't, don't mind if I do. Now, the corrosive interfacer could be a really, really strong option for us if we are trying to go a fire damage build. But I don't really see a reason to do it now that I got this double, pen double penetrating uncapped herald. That was a pr that was a run saving play right there. Absolutely run saving play. I want to huge shout outs to this CDR launcher. Okay. I really thought it was dead, but redeem the soul extra fight for my lifetime. Came in mega clutch. Jump here. Let's go. Tier three, baby. This is where this is where you put up or shut up. This is where you separate the men from the boys. Tier three. Tier three is like when you played Borderlands for the first time and you just beat your Vault Hunter mode. And you're like, dang, I feel pretty strong. Like I'm I I'm hitting my capstones. Nothing can nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. And then you hit tier three and you're like, oh. <laughs> You, or when you hit UVHM, and you're like, oh. I understand now. I'm not meant to be here. <laughs> okay, very sick. Slaga, and then don't, don't penetrating up kept Herald for Baga. I think that if we're going to make Krieg work, if it's ever going to work, I think it's going to be a run that looks similar to this one. Now, this is a very tough zone. Let's just make sure that we have our proper weapons out. Oh, this guy's gonna one-shot me. Don't let him get a shot off, thank you. I need to get... What I need to get is... A couple more... I need to get through this round. Because if I can get a couple more skill points... Yes, 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 yes. Huge. It's a huge get. Let's keep it going. I got Blood Explosion. Sprint down here. And get right up on this loader ASAP. Okay. Destroy you. Destroy you. Oh, it's not, he's not getting destroyed anymore? Okay. I need to get one more level. By the way, let's get our TDR out and ready. Chuck. Chuck. It's not doing that much. Where's my, my uncapped herald? Let's just use this for a second. Hopefully I don't die here. Where's the, uh, where's the things I can shoot on the side? Oh, there's one. Holy. Thank you. I might have picked the fight with the wrong guy here. Also the transfusion now? I need to release the beast. That way I can... Kill up to full if I get in trouble. Looking okay, though. Go for some crits. Nice. Super badass constructor is down. He's still shooting rockets at me? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go down, brother. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so now I, I get into release the beast. Which is going to help me a lot with sustainment.
And for that reason, we're going to go... Now we're going to have Buzzaxe Rampage build as well. Just without silence the voices. Okay. So when we get low, use release the beast to heal back up. Choss axes, get cover, do all that kind of stuff. And then when it's over, you know, we're just going to use it as a full heal. We don't want it to be that long because we want to get back to our Uncapped Herald, you know, without much delay. But when we get low now, we have an option. Go into Buzzaxe Rampage and chuck um, axes at people. Well, melee damage isn't bad either. You can always just use it to clean people up. Our explosive damage is very high. So now, look at Buzzaxe Rampage. Right back again. It's going to be good. Gotta make sure I hit my tosses. This powder monkey, he's he's taking a lot of tosses. But he goes down. What about regular melees? Okay, he's down. Oh, let's go right back to the well. Every time I get one HP, just just go right into it. Boom, 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 boom. And then when when I'm, when it's not up, or you know, when I don't want to be in it, I have gonna I have a double penetrating uncapped heralds. Okay, it's, it's, I mean, because my play style right now, like, I've just go at them constantly, it's, it's mainly just been Buzzax Rampage, but it's fine. Because I'd rather have it than not have it, and then just can go down all the time. You know what I'm saying? They're all, they all have guns, they're all one-shotting me. Lady Fist? Could be okay. We want more damage reduction while I'm fighting for my life. And after getting a melee kill, we want more uh, grenade damage. Because our, our buzz axe throws count as grenades as well. And so does my uncapped heralds. So if this is a, if we can blend a buzz axe rampage with an explosive build, this is this could be the way. Just like that. That way, if I go down, I actually have like a strong way to get back up. And it's it's a, a double penetrating upcap tarot and a slaga, you know, with extra time to think about my actions. Oh, that's a that's a whiff. That's a whiff. That's my bad. I'm not gonna have Buzzack Rampage for a little bit. I have to play a little bit smart here. That should be okay. With my Deepa? Yeah. Yes. We're go okay, we definitely go the distance here. I think we go the distance. I think we I think we got this figured out. Morning Star? I don't think scales with grenade damage, so. Probably not it. So we uh, we officially have like nothing else to put points into. I think. Getting points into this skill tree could be good. But at what cost? I guess silence the voices is kind of worth it. If I'm doing if I'm doing axe tosses anyway, I might as well take points in the silence the voices because it's gonna increase my axe tosses damage by a lot. It's probably worth it. I figured out like how I don't really need it because I'm not really going melee build, but actually I kind of am going melee build. I just toss a whole bunch of explosive damage in their direction until they get me low or whatever. Just like that. Now it could go. I I don't. My shield is pretty important. Like, or like, I can go whatever kind of shield I want right now. I'd rather just get like a super defensive shield, which I do not have at the current moment. Maybe I can find one of these chests. Looks like no. I'm here. Turn that. It is tier 3, so I want to make sure that I'm getting access to these E-Tech launchers. 
We saw what the E-Tech launcher could do for us last round, and we are not going to be scoffing at that. Get some uncapped Herald going on this, laddie. And you. Again, if you look at my kill skills, look at now my guns do extra damage each time, and it, it keeps counting as uh, grenade kills. So now every time, every time I get that grenade kill, my guns do extra damage. Oh, that didn't count as anything. Spyco, you stole my, you stole my kill, bro. So far, I haven't gone, to, I haven't gone down to low HP. I need to be at critical HP for this to work. Kill this arsonist. Oh, actually, if they're gonna fight each other over there, I'm just gonna stand on the side. You, got, you guys have it up for each other. I get it. I'm with you. We want a short buzz action page, obviously. The shorter the buzz action page, the more aggressive we can play. Whoa, he almost put me down right there. So Hammerlock's Rex, that's really my reward for that. Legendary Sickle, Legendary Reaper. Legendary Sickle, but I'm not going to go melee. Legendary Reaper, I definitely should have taken, but I think the Crunch class mod is just doing more. Maximal Adaptive Shield could be good. Okay, five more points. We're going to go Silence the Voices, Salt the Wound. I don't want Empty the Rage. So what do we take? Don't want Light the Fuse. I guess we take Fuel the Rampage. Is it just in case me? Alright, shoot this. Banjo. Let's go. Alright, some TDR E-Tech launchers. There's a top near, but I want my TDRs. TDR? Is no, any more TDRs on the ground over here? No. But splash damage fire plasma caster. I think this shock one. This shock one could be the 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 launcher of the future. Let's go. Okay, we're getting close to the end here. One more boss before the dragons. And it's Wilhelm. Oh, Wilhelm. You're in for a world of hurt there, brother. All right. Remember what happened to... to The other one? This is what's going to happen to this guy, too. All right. Let's stack up our... Let's get our stacks up. 27. Kill you. Oh, I got to make sure I go into this. Because I was putting all my bullets into a... Shield it up, enemy. There we go. Get my distance. Just to toss axes for now. Oh, I was throwing at the wrong guy. There we go. Flag up. Kill that guy. 100 stacks. Get over here. Don't, don't, don't lose my stacks. Don't lose my stacks. All right, let's go. Chuck it. Kill him. Oh, where's my kill? Kill him. Really, really not? That doesn't kill? Dang, that's tough. I really thought, I really thought we had one shot damage right there. That's okay. Hide in here. Kill these, both those lads. I guess I, I can always go back to uncapped heralds. It's not a big problem. What is that? Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. This is when I'm most vulnerable. When I'm in Buzz Action Rampage at the start of it. It's not going to be reset for a little bit. Yeah, use my... Use all the abilities at my disposal. Uncapped Herald time. This is my highest damage option. Yes. Looking good. Let's not forget that. When we were fighting... Uh... It appears that the Uncapped Herald was the thing doing the most damage. We're doing okay as far as deeps. This extra 
just staying staying far away while while we're on Bozak's rampage, just to throw axes is actually working out pretty well. Bearcat or unforgiven? I'm gonna take a bearcat. I'm not sure if it does splash damage. But that's all we're looking for. Is stuff that does splash damage. Oh, we don't get any actual points. What you drop me, homie? Slayer of Terramorphus? You gotta be joking me. There was a... There was a legendary torch mod, I think, over here, though. Yeah. I'm not gonna pivot, though. There's no fire... No fire uh, pivot incoming this time. Let's take this Unicorn Explosion, maybe. Okay. I think it's our time. 85% sham right there. That's kind of crazy. But we're not taking it. Oh, come on. We can do this. Alright. What do we need? Nothing, really. But we'll hit the box anyway. Hmm... Yeah, I think a Nukem. A Nukem might out damage. Let's take. Let's go. Uncapped Herald. A stiff. I'm not taking it. Alright, let's just go fight him. I'm not gonna worry about my inventory. We got this. It's time to du 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 duel. I'm so scared. This is gonna be my first ever attempt. I mean, this is. I've gotten here. Twice before on Krieg and died twice. This is our moment. Who's coming down? Let's get the green one. Spawn guys around. Oh my gosh. First we slag him. And then we double pound. Oh, gotta go into Buzzard's Rampage already. Not the start we were looking for, but it's the start we got. We need to get a kill for a full heal. Okay, maybe maybe that's not gonna work out. Oh no, he's back. He's still over here. He's just he's just shooting. Uh oh, I'm in trouble now. Is, it, is anybody on the ground right now? Not a single not a single dragon on the ground. No, that's just she oh no, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, we we are completely fine. Plus some grenades. All right, green guy, come down, please. If you would. Please. I'm asking nicely. Oh my gosh. That's, that's the end of the round, dude. I couldn't get... I couldn't get him going. I kept I kept getting damaged and... Uh, this is what it is, I guess. I could try to, to, to DPS here, but... It's giving me an off... Not effort. Can't win every run. Oh, it's just so hard to kill those dragons. I think I needed a, a better transfusion grenade, and I think we would have been fine. Anyways, GG.